Mic check, coffee check. It's Ace. And this is Ivan. And this is no decaf. That's what I'm talking about. I'm here for a good time and a good time only. Thank you. I like bad times. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, you like bad times? Oh, man. They, well, bad times are necessary to realize what good times are. Bad nah, times. you're not about to hit me at this time yeah. in the morning with some philosophy. No, shit. that's Get the true. Fuck out of here. I like good times. <laughs> Once again, we're here for a good time and a good time only. That's it. Fuck a bad time. No, nah, you, oh, you, you don't know it's a good time without knowing that what a bad time is. That's obvious. I just don't think you got to say it. Nah, it's not that obvious. <laughs> oh, man. People don't realize that. Like, that's like legit the, the actual crux of how bad and evil work. I mean, bad and evil. I'm sorry. Good and evil work. I think a lot of people realize it. I just think no, a lot, I don't of, people think a lot of people feel the need it. to sound philosophical. See how I. We did extra spicy with the whisper. You need to get the fuck out of here with your whisper. My bad. Whisper. It's early ass in the morning. <laughs> How ready. you feeling, fam? <laughs> How you doing, fam? Like I said, here for a good time and a good time only. Everybody's feeling great. There's a little bit of energy, which is just enough to get this show on the road. It's funny. No, I'm feeling awesome. The bit of energy I gather with the coffee, I automatically waste on how you feeling fam because it takes energy to do that <laughs> that'll be At a waste this time in the morning man i can't you're waste man's <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> waste man's is my new shit from now on <clears throat> so we're yeah. not gonna spend too much time dabbling new music it's friday god damn it new music friday baby it who, is who dropped ivan who dropped alicia keys dropped who else? Gave us like a 20 pack. <laughs> 20 pack. Nah, she gave us a lot though. It's like 16. I'll give you the official number right this second. But she definitely gave us a whole lot of music. 15 songs. I exaggerated a bit. 15 songs. I haven't listened to it yet. Obviously, we're going to listen to it during the weekend because that's how we get our shit off. After that... <sighs> We had a Money Back Yo and Black Youngster album drop. Also, a lot of music. How many songs? Like another 14, 15 songs? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And then we had a single by The Biebs, Justin Bieber. We had, yeah, just a couple of other and things. Lil Tecca released his Lil Tecca released his album as well. Which I'm surprisingly excited about. Yo, what about Keith Urban, fam? Keith Urban dropped his. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna say shit. <laughs> oh man, yo, what what do you know about the speed of now? <laughs> yeah, that should probably <laughs> smacks. Oh, it's a part one too. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. I want to be silly in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna pray for you. Don't pray for and me. And then and then ask me what I'm gonna give you. Ziggy Molly dropped as well. Holy hands. No, you ain't gonna give me no damn holy hands. Jesus ain't with you like he with me. Oh uh, man, uh, the Biebs dropped their Chance the Rapper, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I have a yeah. single together. Justin Bieber and Chance the Rapper dropped. Um, Chance the Rapper's doing that uh polo promo. I don't know if it's a polo album, but he's making music for Ralph Lauren. So or Ralph Lauren, depending on how you guys want to go ahead and like. Season pronounce it. that yeah <laughs> Ra- 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 or as Connie says Ralph <laughs> I hate it because some people really don't know who the fuck Ralph is and they just be like who it's like the people that try to name drop and for example they say not nah, no Sean and it's like fam there's mad Sean there's just, mad just say Jay-Z <laughs> just say Jay-Z I know could have been Big Sean <laughs> I know Sean. Big Sean. Is yeah, Sean but we're talking too. about first names. I don't know. Yeah. If, I don't know if, if Big Sean's first name is Sean, it but I know is. odds are. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're definitely going to be listening to that. I'm kind of excited for the Alicia Keys album. Like, I'm gauging my expectations because I don't like she hasn't put out music in a while. I'm so. excited about listening to it, but not about it. In just for example, at the Little Tech, I'm excited about that album. You know, he's still. It's the second album. He's a fresh face. He's only had one, well, one album last year. He had the big song last year. Mm-hmm. Whereas Alicia Keys, I kind of know what to expect. Makes beautiful music all the time. <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna listen to Little Tecca's. Uh, well, I'm a I'm a peruse Little Tecca's album, and same thing with with Money Bag Yo's. Uh, they just make like besides the one song of Little Tecca, I have no idea. Like I'm not searching for him. Yeah, I know you're not like that. And then the same thing with Money Bag Yo and. And oh, no, but you know, like best, but you know I like money. Moneybag Yo independently, like what he does, especially when he gets with Little Baby, and like he will like they always have a hit together. I like Moneybag Yo. I like me and you tag team. Nah, champion. <laughs> I don't know what a Black Youngster Moneybag Yo album is gonna sound like, and I like Black Youngster for all the antics that are not music, and that's that's what the problem is. I think <laughs> all his little bitch. <laughs> oh. All his little antics outside are hilarious. <laughs> they're, uh, That's funny. What is it that he said? Uh, little bitch. <laughs> like with mad emphasis. <laughs> it's great. But yeah, all his antics are, are great. And I like him for that because he's pretty funny. Little he'd, be bitch. Like, he'd be like, bitch, uh, whore. Uh, like he just starts going mad, mad curse words. New music. Check it out. We'll come back here for next episode. Yeah, what are what are well detailed, well thought out reviews? Well detailed. <laughs> we basically oh, how we always do what we like and what we well we don't even talk about. what oh, we, don't we like. talk about what we like and we try to shit not shit on what we don't like. Yeah, we'll let other. Yeah, do we that. let other. Yeah, <laughs> we're not here for for any beef or anything. We'll give you our favorite songs and that's about it. <laughs> Speaking about favorite songs. This that segue is, is a terrible transition. <laughs> hey, but it did nothing job. to do with the following. Sad. But there's trouble in paradise, and trouble in paradise is a damn. It's the end of an era. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spit your coffee. I should fuck me. you up for almost <laughs> making me spill my coffee. Damn. Trouble in paradise. What is That's not what I said. You said that. I said oh. it's the end of an era. End of an era. I apologize. How to make it extra spicy. End of an era. <laughs> Sasson. Sasson. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> oh, man. If you have no idea what we're laughing about, Cardi B has filed for divorce. And the, you know what the best part is? The divorce papers sounded really. Uh, Wait, you read the divorce papers? No, but that that this is the rumor or the the tea that's going around. The divorce papers sounded real, like real thuggish. <laughs> Yo, I want to get rid of this dude. I want nothing to do with him. And Cardi B nicely was like, "No, that's a little too harsh. I want to do this amicably. <laughs> I want to do this in a nice way. I want a divorce offset in a nice way." Yeah. And that's understandable. I don't really like rumors. It's well. That's the rumor of that, but the divorce is an no, actual. No, no, no. That's that's the but. Yeah. You said, yeah. I don't so divorce is real. it's not. Are you we know, surprised? You know it was jokes as soon as she released. As soon as that was released to the world, yeah. but everybody started joking. As they should, and I know what really happened. What really happened? Offset wanted a PS5. <laughs> Offset can afford a PS5. What is wrong with you? <laughs> That's not the case here. I think you're you're downplaying the PS5 in a household with two young adults. The female is always gonna want to go out. The wife, the girl, the the the, the girlfriend is always gonna want to go out, have a good time, want attention. If there's a PS5, there could be a hundred. It's not about affordability. If the PS5 is in the house, it's gonna cause problems. Because you're going to want attention, not you, but the girl's going to want attention, and she's not going to get it for a good three to four months when all these fire-ass games <laughs> keep coming and keep three getting pumped out. Three to four months. The best games are coming out next year. Well, there's two coming out this year. Name them. Cyberpunk and Assassin's Creed. Yeah, but, well. I mean, you know me. I will be there for, that's a good three weeks of my time to a month. Cyberpunk is going to take the... Uh, How the, do you go to video games from We're not gonna well, it, well, well, you said PS5 You were the one who segued us into that I think that's what it was I think he wanted a PS5 And she said no. <laughs> But yeah, let's go back into Cardi B and all uh, I'm not surprised uh, Reason being is because Well, if you have seen And we're not gonna talk on nobody's marriage Or anything like that But as I talk on somebody's marriage Exactly like that, But Like, they've had issues before Let's just say it like that They've had issues there, There's been allegations of some You know of infidelity and things of that nature. Uh, 
I'm not saying anything that's like not public knowledge or anything like that. I'm not bringing some new tea to the table. I don't have a direct line to Cardi B and or Offset. Um, you know what I am hyped for? I am hyped for this to inspire music. Between both of them. Because they're both artists. Very few, very seldom. The thing is that usually when you go to music to express anything that has to do with a relationship, it's usually negative. Of course. So I'm not, well, I'm, I'm here, here for, for the, the toxicity. They have a kid. The last thing I want is for those two people to be negative with each other. They don't need to be toxic with Fam, each other right now. Beyonce gave us a whole album called Lemonade. While she was still with the man. Yeah. Maybe airing out some laundry and some dirty laundry, but not. But I was here for the negative toxicity there, too. What I'm saying is, uh, yeah, Britney Spears gave us I'm not a girl yet a woman. <laughs> don't ask me how that connects. <laughs> but I can find a connection. <laughs> There's a real easy plug in the house <laughs> for me to connect that to. Uh but I digress. I'm I'm joking. Uh we hope this ends we hope this ends, you know, as the nicest way as possible. I'm riding with offset on this one. So keep your head up offset. I'm riding with Cardi B. <laughs> would take the opposite. I love Cardi B though. She's great. Her personality's on like full, on full tilt. Like Absolutely. I love her, but I love her. She's great. Offset, I like Offset too, though. Offset's my favorite Migos. I know what it's like. Offset's to, the best Migos. I know what it's like to want a PS5 and they say that. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the reason why they're having trouble. But let's say it is. Offset wanted a PS5. Let's put that rumor out there. <laughs> they're divorced. No, we don't put it like that because that sounds nasty. They're not putting a rumor out there. Yo, you better get ready because while we're <laughs> while people are very scarce and listening to us. <laughs> When we start when we start having a huge audience and shit like that pops off, people are gonna go onto oh, the we're blogs. Get in trouble. Huh? We're yeah, gonna get we're in gonna trouble. get into a lot of trouble. Where did this rumor come from too, guys? So from the past the shit. Fuck you. <laughs> from you the th- past. You think though that uh, that um offset is the better Migo? Just Offset is the best. But you're talking Migo. just in terms of just looking at it just in everything, right? Offset could be plugged into any track and make it sound great. I, mean, I see that, but he's, he's super he's versatile. Not the best I think he's the best. I think he's In the best opinion, rapper. Takeoff is the best. I rapper. think he's the best. Well, oh, no, no, no. no okay, crazy. let me rephrase this. I think, I think uh, Quavo is hit is um hook or and I, or well, hit yeah, genius. That, yep, absolutely. I think that's obvious. I think the best artist there is Offset, and I think the best rapper would be that's Takeoff. That's exactly how I label that. It's exactly how you just said it. Because uh, um Offset can go into different lanes and still sound great. I think Quavo is very, how would I say this? I, I wouldn't say that he's very repetitive. Like, I wouldn't say that. I would say that he, what he does, he's super consistent at what he does. He's good at what he does. Yeah, he's really good at what he does. So it's like, I know what to expect from Quavo. From Offset, I can go and look at Offset and I'd be like, he could be on an EDM song. He could be on... A uh, if he was on a country song with with uh, with uh, what's homeboy's name with Lil Nas X, if he was on a country song with Lil Nas X, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be like, he wouldn't be out of place. Yeah, he wouldn't be out of place. He just has that type of talent where he just fits everywhere he goes, and it's just yeah. I think I think he's my favorite Migos. I think Definitely. he also has the um, superstar quality more than the other two do. Yes, as well. He fits. He like he legit fits. I like them Fits all. Well. I like the meals. I fuck with their music. So, on to more serious news. This isn't that serious, but yeah, keep going. Nah, it's serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm riding with Kanye on this one. I'm really enjoying whispering. <laughs> you're you're a sick dude. Um Kanye. Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. Kanye has been ranting. When all, is Kanye not ranting? All over Twitter. Asking, de- no, not asking, demanding apologies, asking for his masters, asking to be let out of his contract, asking for a whole lot of shit just for, you know, transparency's sake. I like Kanye. I think Kanye is a genius. I think Kanye does a lot of things that. I think Kanye is misunderstood. Kanye, it, that can be said that Kanye is misunderstood. He says some wild shit sometimes, but I think he's misunderstood. But I think he's also right about a lot of the shit that he says. So a lot of rappers are writing with Kanye because Kanye has said the following. 
He's no, he said a lot. He said a lot, 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 lot. He see, he talked about. You're not about to read every single. Oh no, this is way too much. This is way too much. Black masters, uh, black masters matter. (laughs) Black masters. So okay, so I'm just gonna in in like like in totality, like in (laughs) summarize. And I'm gonna summarize this shit. He's mad about his contract situation. He's saying that he's not gonna put out music until he's let out his contract. That amazing contract that was amazing when he first signed it. Because they knew what they had on their hands. Because it is a it is a very crazy contract. He's not going to put out any music. He's spitting game. And it's not really like the thing is that his delivery isn't isn't the best. Kanye starts ramping and raging about things on Twitter instead of carefully articulating his words and picking his words together and putting out videos and content around these certain matters. Getting mad and losing your shit makes everybody think that you're off your meds, makes everybody think that you're not in the right place. And I don't want Kanye to be looked that way, but sadly that's we're at that point in time where Kanye has looked like a crazy person. But then all the other artists agree with him. Trippy Red agrees with him. Russ agrees with ownership. Like Russ is Russ is probably the best one to be talking about ownership since Russ is independent and has been independent for like the last ten years and has been killing the game, making a whole lot of money touring and just loving his shit. A lot of people understand where this beef comes from, where Kanye and the label and just all of this. Kanye wants his masters. It is a beef. It is a beef. If you own my shit and I want my shit back and you're regard and you're not, you're not, you're not facility, you know, you're not engaging in conversation to give me my shit back. But no, Kanye, no, they're not going to give you your shit back. Want to know why? You're too great. Giving there has to be a way. No, but you can't say like that. There has to be a way to get his shit back. Maybe he's going to have to jump through all the hoops. If the Beatles can't get their shit back from Sony, Kanye is not getting his shit back from Universal. But it doesn't help to leave it in the air as a negative. Because what, what you're doing, I get what you're saying. My, my problem is I'm that being honest about this shit. Absolutely. What you're doing is, but there's some honesty that you just can't deliver to the people. That sounds wrong. Let me explain. When you leave in the air about ownership and negative but you leave it in the air for anybody to grab onto as a negative thing that's not going to be done that's impossible you're deterring everybody who once said i'm going to try to get my masters at some point somebody has to win okay if i understand being honest with the people being honest with the artists i get it i'm with you you you, just can't you can't be an alien and expect your music back they're not gonna do it i know but i understand what you're saying because it's it's very it's it's like giving you, but I'm what I'm trying to do is give you the light and dark. It's not all, I can't give you one side, but I'm giving you the other side. I'm with you. Yes. I'm with you. Yes, everybody, every artist, every creative should fight for ownership of their own content that they created out of that, was spawned out of their own head. I feel like as the episodes go on and the weeks go by and the days go by, this subject is somehow weaving its ugly head back into the conversation about ownership every single, and every value. single every single uh every single passing week every single passing month every we single passing, example we get another example of an art of a person who has created something and is not getting proper value for it and or getting their own um, ownership and the right amount of money from their shit Kanye is just one of the biggest examples that sadly is probably going to end in a bad way because if if they do if somebody is crazy enough to give Kanye back his masters that person's going to get fired on the spot. Which means nobody's crazy enough to give Kanye back his masters. They have too much money to make. You know what that... That's a catalog. Kanye arguably albums... His first three albums were great. Then you get into a spree of maybe four classic albums... Going all the way from Late Registration, which would arguably be a classic album, to My Dark Twisted Fantasy. So it would be Late Registration, Graduation, uh, 808s and Heartbreaks, if I might be missing one, and then My Dark Twisted Fantasy. Then after that comes Jesus. Please correct me. Um, go ahead, uh, Ace, and correct me if I'm wrong, but that should be, no, the, right. that should be the timeline, right? 
before, never in hip hop has anybody, anybody had a streak of four straight classic albums. Not Jay Z. Nas, Nas's first three, arguably his third isn't a classic. Arguably, depending on who you ask, I count it as a classic. Not like that. Not the Beatles. Not Michael Jackson. Sony owns both the Beatles and Michael Jackson's catalog. Sony's Sony a does. Powerhouse. Sony. And they're about to release the, the PS5. Beatles. <laughs> This is sponsored by Free PS5. Can Tell I me just, did you get this, back? No, I just want any girl that fucks with me that's listening to this to be like, oh, he wants a PS5. <laughs> any, any label, any company that makes a huge amount of dollars. You know how many times I've heard power in movies? Power the song, by the way. I think on TV too. You know how many times I've heard it? Power in video games. You know how many times I've heard this? You know how many times I've heard Kanye in other mediums? It's way too strong of a catalog for them to just give it back. And it's sad because this is what the music industry has been doing for... But you don't think if he's if he's fighting about it, it's because he sees a possibility? There's something that he might be able to do to get his shit back? I think, I, I think he's taking the same approach that a lot of people have taken. I'm going to fight with the label. I'm going to go lawsuits with the label. Eventually, bad publicity will seep its way. The issue is, in this case, Kanye isn't signed to just any label. He's not signed to, like, how do I put this? Labels usually have this weird system, kind of like a pyramid scheme in a certain case, where you have a top label that spawns other labels, that then spawns other labels, and so on and so forth. There's a reason why from cash money came young money cash money. Like, to, just to give you guys an example, you had Baby with his rap label, and then you got Lil Wayne, who opened up his own rap label, and then... Yeah, but I think they know that. How it just, so, you keep no, getting, no, no, like, I know. baby yeah. labels from so, the main label. So, sometimes, the issue with Kanye is that Kanye isn't signed to a baby label. Kanye is no longer signed to Def Jam. You know where Kanye is signed to? Universal. Which is the dumb data of the rap labels. Hey, Hancho. Yeah. There's an there's a there's there there's so many things happening in the background of just Kanye fighting for his thing that I can't even begin to dream of. I don't know what type of damage control they're doing. I don't know what type of I they could just be painting him to look crazy. But every time, but have you noticed that, that every time easy, somebody bro. somebody wants their own like wants to own their shit, they're looked at as crazy. No, crazy that is. Paul McCartney, you're suing the label for X amount. I, I just saw this on uh, on uh, on what's it called on the abstract documentary. Paul McCartney sues EMI for the uh, for his uh, for his rights. I think it was like 17 million. You're nuts. Why are you why are you suing Paul McCartney? One of the Beatles is suing a company for his proper payment and proper rights. Why would an artist be nuts for suing a company for not getting uh, for for his proper payment? How does that even sound? And then always, it's always the same thing. Oh, he's crazy. He's nuts. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't mean. Uh, I don't mean to put like a negative like connotation onto this like pot uh, onto the. No, just trying to keep conversation. It yeah, but just that's artists. why you can't sign bullshit deals. I get that you might need the money, but you have to be careful with what you sign. You have to read, read. You motherfuckers won't pick up a book. Facts. Read. Y'all won't even watch the documentary. The abstract. Now on Amazon Prime for five dollars. <laughs> Is there a bag of check coming a, in? Yeah, no. <laughs> but yo. Everybody should watch that. It even gets into the details of what a 360 deal is where they, t yo, they take your merch. <laughs> they take your touring. They take, yo, it's Vaseline. <laughs> it's no Vaseline. Well, I try to make it nice. <laughs> oh, now you're making it nice. <laughs> hey, I'll give you the good and the bad. I, like I've I said, always it's the said delivery. that he's mis misunderstood. That's always been my theory with him. And people don't necessarily see what he sees. Prince has been fighting this fight as well. What well, was? Was. Rest in peace. Kanye might have a... You know what the problem is? This is what it looks like. It looks like Kanye has a to-do list of things he has to knock out and things he has to do, things he feels. Because this is the thing. When you're a genius, 
you get restless, right? That's facts. Or when you're very smart, when you're super intelligent, you get restless. There's shit you have to do, the shit that has to get done. And I see him as 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 one of these people. And I think he has a to-do list that's not sitting well inside of him and things that he feels he needs to do. The problem is that he's not attacking it one by one. And his attacking everything at once and wanting to do everything at the same time, that's when people start to say, what is he talking about? He looks crazy. And nobody sees what he's saying, but he sees it. He knows what he's doing or what he's trying to get to. And everybody keeps saying Kanye is crazy. I've said Kanye is crazy. But then my other theory is what I'm, the one I'm explaining right now. I, I want to shoot him some bill and think Kanye sees something that we're not seeing. Maybe. And that's me shooting him bail. I could be wrong. Maybe he is crazy. I don't. I, I think there's ways that you could get your masters. Uh, oh no, but I'm I'm talking in general. I wasn't talking about oh, yeah, yeah. just to the masters right now. Just everything he's saying because he is speaking facts. There's things. There's truth in what he's saying. Yeah, definitely. Again, he's not. He hasn't said a lie yet. How some people have been putting L- NLE choppers at the Kanye hasn't said a, like a lie it, yet. Everything. Hey, you apologize to me, but also I'm waiting for a phone call from you and you, and I need yeah. an apology yeah. from yeah, you. Drake, but I Kendrick want my and masters, but I want yeah. you to understand how the music industry and the NBA works. It's so many things he's attacking at once. Yeah, he's, he, he needs to let shit breathe. Like, slowly attack one thing by one, like one by one. And I, I imagine that him in his head and his genius brain, he's like, time is running out. That's probably what he feels like. Like he doesn't have enough time. Maybe not running out, but he just knows that he doesn't. He doesn't have enough time to do everything, to do everything, that everything he wants to do. Yeah. And he's one of the richest black black men. And if one of the richest black men can't get the ownership of their own shit, that's a little crazy too. How much? The, how much? I think do you the best think? thing I ever did was to not like go into the music industry. It's nasty. All those dreams I have I had when I was younger. It's nasty. Thank God, all that shit. It's go. nasty. Um, I, it's it's a natural deterrent to just watch the things that I watch and learn and get more information, it's a natural deterrent because you're like, why would I get myself into a business where I have to deal with such shitty people or such sh- shitty practices? Because sometimes it ain't shitty people. Jen that works at Sony or whatever the case may be might not be a shitty person, but she needs to feed her family. She needs to keep her job. So therefore she has to uphold these shitty practices. Not that just have that. To- what, what, what have we always seen? It's the people up top that force... Yeah, the bottom the two. The, the ones under them, their lackeys, whatever you want to call them, not to, to offend anybody. I've been in that position. Bet- where you're between the normal employees, but you also, you're between the normal employees and the actual people running shit. That's facts. You have a little bit of power, but you don't get to use it because they're forcing their power on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been in that little, position. It's a little, it's, a, it's, it's disheartening. And it's sad. I pray. I pray for Kanye. I pray for all new artists that just open your eyes, yo. Like Ace says, it's no Vaseline. Like it's no. They will paint a pretty picture. Yeah, a lot. Of, and I and I understand it. And I understand it that that for that hundred k up front. It's you know what's why it's it, it it gets so deep and it's always so. It's not so eye opening because I get it. I get it now, but I didn't get it when when I was younger. But people, once again, what do we always say? People are so simple and so easily impressed. Correct. Granted, $100 million, for example, that don't impress me right now. And I'm not even easily impressed, but that would, imp- that, that would impress me. Mm-hmm. But if they're willing to pay you all this money, do you know the money they're making from you? Do you know you? what you're worth? Back to value. And that's what I'm saying. And maybe he signed the deal that he signed thinking, oh, I'm good. And maybe... He- he got a peek at how much money behind the curtain where he wasn't supposed to stick his head, mm-hmm. and that's when people get. Peaked. So you don't have to. You know. Uh, you know what the thing is. I don't think. I think people. I think artists should read up on masters, on publishing, on merchandise, on. You got to understand all your all your funnels of income. I think artists, when they get into these deals, especially young, when Kanye first signed that deal, Kanye was still young. Like, I think they signed Kanye, Kanye after... Kanye 43 now? Yeah. Kanye was still pretty young. When they when he signed this deal, I think it might have been before uh, graduation. Might have been. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But you you have to know how all of this works. 
they use your ignorance against you. Like you have to read up on this. And like, oh, like it says, y'all won't even pick up a book. Y'all would just sign contract after contract after contract after contract and not reading the fine print. Having a lawyer that was hired by the record company to be your lawyer. Where do you think his a interest lies? Like, like that. there's, there's, yo, the amount of sick shit that you learn just by doing comp, like basic research. You don't even have to go nowhere. Turn on YouTube and look up how does the how does the music industry work. Like I said, abstract documentary about the music industry. <laughs> you keep plugging it. I keep boy. plugging it, and I'm sorry, but it's a it was a really good documentary. Shout out to Jared Leto and Thirty Seconds to Mars. Also, they did a great job. We should probably get um say that we're saying all this and we are nobodies correct we're not part of the we're not artists we're not musicians we're not part of the music industry we're not part of any industry we're two guys who enjoy entertainment that's really at the end of the day when you get down to the foundation of it that's what we are we're two men who love music who love movies who love tv who love sports that's why we made this 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 show this podcast yeah because our conversation was great so we said turn on the microphone correct so if we can sit down and tell you, listen, you probably shouldn't just sign anything that gets put in front of you. You should probably do your own research. If you're in that position. Get your own they lawyers. Will, they will, get your own financial advisors. They will flash a pretty chain and a little bit of money, and these people will sign. Yeah. Especially men, because I feel like women are much smarter. Men will see a pretty chain. Are those real diamonds? I've never had real diamonds before. Fam, you were fine before you had real diamonds. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what people forget. People oh. forget that they were okay. They were they were fine. And like this, and this is what bothers me about people. Fame is not an amazing prospect. You gotta, you gotta. You, everybody, you have to understand. You have to have your own own number. You have to have your own measurement of what success is. Being the next Eminem is highly unlikely. Not because Eminem's a a goat. Like, Eminem is an alien. Eminem is different. Being the next Jay-Z is highly unlikely. You have to find something that's at least, like, down to earth and have that be the measurement of your success. Hey, it's okay if you only make $100,000 a year making music. That's more than a lot of people make. Doctors make a hundred thousand dollars a year, well, um, a and you more, do but... it doing what you love. Some doctors do, at least. You have to find what makes you happy. Fame is. I understand people be like, "Oh, you're oh, you're famous," but sometimes being famous in your state, and I, I think people's ambitions get in the way. Oh, I'm gonna need a record label to back me up. To Russ has never had a record label, and Russ is one of the is a one of the big. I would I would call him an A tier artist. He did his shit right. Russ gets all his touring. Russ makes a lot of money off of touring. I think he should get together with a couple of people. Maybe hire two or three lawyers. Hire like a team of people. There's certain create, people that create do like a an independent book. Maybe not a book, but, like, just a plan that gets applied to artists. I would even just say maybe his own label, but if not his own label, then at least something that where they can consult and charge for it and, like, guide people through the initial maybe year to year and a half of that life, of being famous, of signing contracts, of being out here moving, getting what you need to get. I think, like, but you know what the the thing is? You know what the thing is? A lot of artists don't even have the right mentors. Like Master P has been um has been speaking about ownership for the last twenty years. I did I didn't know that because Master P is not on my radar because Master P is Master P and he's doing what he's doing. But due to Instagram, to due to the you know the amount of social media, how how accessible people are, I've across the years have now looked at Master P and be like, okay, what he's speaking is truth. Kanye is another one. Kanye has been speaking about um about owning his his shit. For the last eight years, what well, it feels like eight years, and so on and so forth. There's so many examples we could uh, we could talk about this all day and not have, but we don't have we just don't have that much time in the day to just talk about how you need to own your shit, how you need to uh, basically fund your own shit, pay for your own shit, continue to move forward, 
it's nice to have a hundred thousand dollars up front but you know what's real nice too knowing that you own your music and you're, you're getting the full benefit out of it it's okay that your movie that your music isn't in a in a video game, which is also highway robbery, by the way. We'll one day we'll we'll have that conversation as well. It's okay that your music is not in a video game. It's okay. If it's in a B tier movie, it's okay. That extra twelve whatever royalties that you're gonna get from having your music in a movie, that's nice. Getting twelve stacks a year from an old song that you had that still resonates. That's nice. That's nice. It's okay. Again, you have to figure out what your how, what barometer, like what is your what is the measurement for your success. It doesn't look like success for everybody else. Some people just want to have a nice house and live cozy off of their music. But some people want to live like be like Busta some Rhymes with a thousand for, chains some on. Some people like, want to live for Instagram. That's the problem. They some people show yeah, off. Some people want to show off. Those too. are the people that sign the contracts the fastest. The ones that want to show off on Instagram. Oh, I got the new G wagon. I got the chain. You know, it's not. It's not smart. You've been painted a picture that sadly looks real nice from the outside, but from the inside, it's disgusting. You make one dollar. You as the artist, as the creator of, of this amazing thing, you make one dollar. From a CD, from a $12 CD, $1. And then from that $1, you got to pay for all your shit. (laughs) You got to pay studio. You got to pay your entourage. entourage. You got to pay your your stays at hotels. All of that comes from your pocket. Really? Fam, if y'all don't get the fuck out of (sighs) here. Sorry for the rant. It has to be said. Yes. Anyways, Kanye, we pray for you, brother. Yes, we do. we do. We love your music, and I know that. Yeah, you have an era in our in for, for us millennials, I guess. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, but we pray for you. Definitely. Now on to your man's. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> this was hilarious. Cause you want to know why it was hilarious? I was a hundred percent right. I've had a pretty good um. Pretty good, what do you call foresight? it? Foresight. Foresight with finals in the past like four to five years. Mm-hmm. I've been so off. I didn't think the, the Trailblazers were going to get taken out so early. I didn't think the Nuggets would make it this far and look at where they are now. The I didn't think the Clippers would be taken out. Mm-hmm. By the Nuggets in a game seven after they had a 3-1 Damn. lead. Damn. <laughs> ah. Uh... It's so funny. 2020 is one hell of a year. As of today, as of Friday, the Heat are up 2-0. Like I said, something's different in the water in Miami. At least when it comes to basketball. There's nothing different with everything in Miami, but well, that's a conversation for another day. But hey, it's, 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 it's awesome. It's awesome. That Miami basketball team, yeah, they're different. Like I said, Spo is a is a monster. Spo is a hell of a head coach. Pat Riley's the mob boss. Pat Riley's a, a genius when it comes to this basketball shit. And he got them playing really well. But that's not the big one. That that's not we already know. We, like for those of us who knew basketball, we knew that Miami was gonna be winning this series. The funny part was the Clippers getting knocked off after I said that your man's Kawhi Leonard. Doesn't make his team better. As him and Paul George drop 16, 12 and 16 points. <laughs> he shot two for 11. Paraphrasing here, that might not be the exact stats. But two for 11 is more or less what he shot. Kawhi Leonard had like over 20 shots up. Shot an abysmal, like, 5 for 20 or something along those lines. I think what hurts me the most. I told everybody that he doesn't. What hurts me the most, besides them being up three and letting them come back up to win the series, Mm -hmm. is the individual games where they had pretty pretty commanding leads. Yeah, and then they would just give it up. They were gassed. They were gassed. 
A lot of a lot of people are saying that they uh, that the bubble just wasn't very kind to them. But then I would look at them, and then I would look at the Nuggets, and I would be like, "But everybody's in the bubble, so what's what's the difference?" Uh, Some of us are getting pussy in the bubble. That's the, <laughs> <laughs> the crazy part. It was Kawhi, and and again, I'm not a Kawhi hater. I'm not. I liked Kawhi when he was with the San Antonio Spurs. It was after that his uncle and all of that started and the and the load management started. I was like, yo, this dude is really not that crazy and we we need to stop this. He won with the Raptors again because the Raptors were a squad and a half. Not because the Raptors were like 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 it wasn't like he just spearheaded them into no, he made them because he's an upgrade from DeRozan. He made them into a championship team. Don't get me wrong. He completed them. He completed them. But not with this Clipper squad, not with Paul George, who's a spotty all-star. Kawhi Leonard, we're not going to spend too much time on this. They lost. It's over. I don't want to hear any more conversations about, because in the games that you really wanted him, and thank God. Unless he comes thank back God and that wins they next didn't year win. or next after that. No, I, I don't want to hear any of that. Even if he wins? He has to win what? the right way, though. He has to win the right way. He has to start playing all the games. He has to start practicing. He was coming to practices whenever he felt like it. <laughs> what it do, baby? <laughs> oh, you finally decided it came after six days of no practice? <laughs> Yo, all the memes are great. Hey, hey, hey. Like, they're all great. You're also at home now. It's funny because they actually said that they're going to break up the team. That... According to Kendrick Perkins, his inside source told him that they might blow it up. Start all over? Yeah. They should have never given Shea, Shea, Shea Gilgis Alexander. They should have never let him go for Paul George. Never, never, never. Shea Gilgis is a beast, yo. And then finally, okay, so let's get into our predictions. We have Lakers and Nuggets. Well, yeah, now, now I'm with you. It's going to be Lakers in Miami. And, and I mean Lakers and Heat. It's Lakers in Miami. Well, I said, like... If you guys been listening, I said it. I predicted this. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm, I said I'm giving it. it to you. Lakers in Miami. Like I said, I thought I th- I still think that Boston could win one, but it's still gonna be a f- uh, a four one or at best five two a four two four two five two <laughs> at best a four two. I don't have Boston coming back. I think they're going to be down 3-1. And unless something crazy happens, which I don't expect it because I think Eric Spo and Pat Riley are just geniuses and know exactly what they're doing. And Jimmy Butler is a no-nonsense, a no-nonsense star in this league with an amazing cast around him. Except when he's in a canoe. <laughs> he has this one picture where he... Or it might be a meme, but there's this one meme and or picture where he's like in a in a Cuban shirt and with like one of those little Spanish hats smoking a cigar. He's like up two, up two against the Celtics. And then it's Lakers. And here's the sad part. Regardless of what happens, I think Lakers win this title. If it might be a five one. Whoever goes up against the Lakers, the Lakers, LeBron is determined. LeBron will be in the finals. Everybody in that squad is finally getting their shit together. Kyle Kuzma is finally understanding what his role is. Alex Caruso is playing out of his damn mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I don't think Lakers. I don't think anybody's stopping the Lakers. And I think they're gonna get contributions off the bench. I think Deion Waiters and J.R. Smith are finally gonna kind of like kind of put put things together and finally figure out. Okay, this is what we need to do to, and and to be to and be what productive. What sucks is that usually the you get this big confidence booster where. If they win this year and LeBron can keep it up a bit longer, I see them winning against ne- um winning again next year. I don't think they uh, I don't think they win again next year. Not because I don't think they're capable of doing it. I think it's gonna I think I I yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be hard. tricky. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna it's because I can't say that knowing that there's so many teams, so many uh, other teams. It's, but yeah, but I mean, just it, I, I think mean, Jamal Murray finally hit the, the corner, team. huh? That's a stacked team. What Nuggets or Lakers? the Lakers? Oh, but what I'm saying is that you got to look at all the other teams. For example, Jamal Murray finally hit that spark. Like, yo, I can be in the conversation of top five point guards in the league. Like he finally hit that. Like even though he's kind of like a combo guard, like he he could play both the one and the two, he finally understands. Hey, 
there's no reason why I shouldn't be mentioned with a Russ, with a Lillard. Chris Paul, Lillard, Irving, and so on and so forth. He finally hit that. So I expect them to be much better next year, the Nuggets, even if that, because I don't have them winning this series. I think that the three headed monster and Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee, and Anthony Davis are up against Nikola Jokic. That's going to, yeah, when you can rotate that many bigs and defend them, because he's going to have to take them out into the perimeter, opening up the floor. He's gonna have to. Sh- he's gonna have to play from the three point line, which should be should be how it works. But also, they're not gonna just make him into a three point shooter. He has to work from the inside out as well. So it's like there's a lot of factors in there. I'm not gonna kill you guys with basketball. Uh, with basketball talk, but yeah, we're about to finish it right now. Yeah. If so, you- uh huh. So yeah, I have Lakers winning this ship. Four two, four one. But it's a five game or six game series, and if it's crazy enough, he might just sweep them. LeBron might just be like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this shit over," and start averaging a freaking thirty point triple double like he does in the finals because he's nuts. Now on to some very small news, very you know, some light work. <laughs> the Mandalorian trailer dropped, and it looks good. Boy, does for it all, look good for all my Star Wars fans out there. I still haven't seen the first season. <laughs> <laughs> Which I am going to watch. Don't judge me. I just like waiting until everything kind of, you know. Until <laughs> it gets close. Until it gets close. It happens sometimes. It gets sometimes close to what? Sometimes I will not watch a show and then wait till the next season is close. So then I'll watch everything like real together. Like some people do that. Some people will watch the whole entire season, then rewatch it again when it's close to have everything fresh on their mind and then like go straight. Cool, yeah. So what I'm, well, I've that's only done what, that once. I'm going to, I only, I've only watched, rewatched few shows I've rewatched from start to finish. Friends being one of them and Game of Thrones also. But yeah, Game of Thrones, I think is. Yeah, I rewatched it uh, for some of the seasons. But what I was saying was, I'm going to watch all eight episodes. Before, because it's out October 30th. The new season, yeah. The new season's out October 30th. I'm hyped. I am a Star Wars fan, but it's like, there's just, it's it's too much. It's There's so many shows, so many crazy things, so much, like, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. So, Mandalorian trailer, go check it out, guys, if you guys like Star Wars. Also, in kind of strange news. Bizarre news. Bizarre news, yeah. Mayweather wants to fight Logan Paul. I don't. Are you sure it's Mayweather that wants to fight Logan Paul? Or Logan Paul wants to fight Mayweather? Why you would get in the ring with this guy? When Mayweather? I hope that doesn't happen. I'm I hope try, it does. I, I, I'm not trying to be like uh, a, a dick or anything, but I really, I just, I respect boxing too much as as a sport. I respect it too much, and I love it too much, and I think that this just this is a joke. This well, is. You would have to look at that the it's same a mockery. as. As a mockery, you would have to look at that the same as you would look at a May, uh, McGregor Mayweather fight, even though McGregor's kind of, a season, that, and that's but it's, what a spe- it was. it's a spectacle instead of when, having when it. McGregor went to fight. Um, when McGregor went to fight Mayweather, it rubbed me the wrong way just a little, but then I thought at the end of the day, May, uh, McGregor's a professional fighter, it's mm-hmm. a different sport, but he's still a professional fighter at the end of the day, correct. So it's it's not too crazy, and even when um the the this kid whatever the fuck his name is Logan Jake whatever the fuck his name is for uh uh KSI, KSI that I accept too that's fine because these are two people of around the same caliber same tier of background that's fine but when you take a professional boxer who's probably gonna go down in history as one of the best to ever do it to fight a YouTube like come on don't just just don't yeah you're mixing it's a very weird mix. Uh, but it's, I do it's, understand. It's, it's, it's I do making understand. a joke out of boxing to me. That's how I see. It. That's how Ace sees it. Yo, Ace loves referring to Ace in the third person. Get your third person ass out of here. <laughs> but the yeah, it's, just, it's, it's 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 a joke. I I, like I I'll play devil's advocate in this case. It's also a really big payday. Absolutely, but they don't need it. Logan Paul makes enough money on his YouTube stuff. And but you know how it is. has more, has more than enough money to yeah. live. Wait, no, I'm not done. Has more than enough money to live several lifetimes the way he's living this life right now. <laughs> he can but here's live the several thing. lives But like here's this. the thing. Here's the thing. You also got to look at it from an ease perspective. Mayweather 
in probably maybe with his mind, he'd be like, yo, I can I can outbox the shit out of this kid. And I could make a hundred so million because well, it's, right. it's a big payday. For, I'm not saying it's a hundred million for practice, for for basically, hey, stand there and let this me punch kid you. This is gonna make me look good, and I'm getting paid. Fam, it's an easy payday. Hey, if I'm not mistaken, I just, like I don't think the they KSI Logan Paul uh, fight broke a, a Twitch records. Like there was mad donations. So like there was so much real, bro. Like all I'm saying because it's not, but it's not like the Tyson Roy Jones fight. This is different. The Tyson Roy Jones fight, as great as a fight that that's going to be, it's not even going to get close to the amount of attention that this one is going to get. I don't know. Well, actually, no, it's, you're right. this you're is right. a different this audience. Is, no, you're right. It's because he's going to the YouTube crowd and the, the crowd YouTube, that loves the him, Twitch, yeah. the the the, uh, the amount of money that but that's going to be real great. boxing fans and for '90s babies. And people who, who oh, who, we're gonna who, pay. Of we're course, we're gonna pay much more attention to of Tyson. Of course, and, and, but and Roy. this isn't about that. Do you know what this is? This is a cash grab. I hope they don't do it. This I is think, the generation of Mayweather, cash grabs. This is I the believe, generation of microtransactions. I believe this is that gen- Mayweather, being ha- having boxed, as long as he's been boxing, having the career that he, that he's had, he should respect boxing as a sport more than no. But he, he loves money more than he loves boxing. Though. He's not money Mayweather. Yes, he is. He's it's exactly who he is. <laughs> oh man, that yeah, it's 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 different. It's different. You calling somebody up like Mayweather and saying, "Hey." I got a cool 50 million for you. I got a cool whatever, how much money in endorsements, how much money at the door, how much money at like Twitch, how much like I get we've been we've been practicing this. We're this close to real life celebrity death match. Okay, celebrity match match. We're this close to to it. You know how we we've always had rumors about boxing uh being that's what I'm looking for. Not being fake, but being Something that you can um rigged. There thank you go. You. That's exactly the word I was looking for. Yeah. Being rigged in some matches where you pay Took hey, me a while, to just take the L, lose or Yeah. I've always been against that. I just I love boxing this too much help as a it. sport. And that's my problem. This, doesn't, problem. Help this it. doesn't help it. Cause this, you know what it feels like? Like they they're gonna go to Mayweather and say, But hit you him know, a little bit. Don't take again, it too serious because you could wipe the floor with this kid. And that's fake. That's fake. Also, that's not a, if you're just gonna toss them around, that's you, not a real fight. You know what? Also, you know what? Also, and I have to, and I have to give it to them because they're both. As much as I think that they do a lot of fuck shit, they, I also think that they're very in tuned with their with their popularity and though and their notoriety, notoriety and their infamy. A lot of people do do dislike these two kids. They dislike them. What two kids? The the Pauls. The, the Pauls. Yeah, a lot of people dislike them. I don't. Again, I don't know you guys by. You know, I don't know, no, but they, no, no, but they have their strong fan base. So it's, of course, it, but it's and, like and an that's island. Why it's and like an that's island. Why they are equally, and I would say equally, they are much. They are hated as much as they are liked. From both sides of the spectrum, so there's going to be people on one side that are rooting for you to win, because he is going to fight. Um, his little brother is going to fight Nate Robinson, by the way, which is crazy. And that's also real. That's happening. That's 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 more real than this because this is this is just no. Yeah, I know that this is. I just hope I, I don't want this to happen. This is this gonna Mayweather, happen, and Mayweather's gonna make another big ass bag, just like he made another uh, the bag. Um, with, uh, what's it called? What Wait, is, why doesn't he just fight McGregor again? Because McGregor's getting into a lot of trouble. He just got like arrested again in so another country. So he does country. need the money. He should be money, McGregor. Yeah, McGregor. No, I don't. But again, <laughs> money, McGregor. McGregor got bread. McGregor out here signed by Reebok and the, yeah, McGregor got money, not not Mayweather money, but McGregor got money. But yeah, this is this is too easy of a bag to not participate in. We have to fight. I have to train for like what six months. We go into the ring, fight an hour. It's uh, it makes me sad. It's but almost whatever. you know what this is. It's also like loving hop, uh, loving hip hop. It's also like it's a TV bag. It's it's a quick bag. It's a quick bag. It's a reality TV bag. It's 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 what it is. It's what it is. And we're off it. We're off it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. If it happens, I'm going to watch it. But No, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not watching it. Tell me who won. Tell me who won. Same oh, thing that's, with KSI. No, but I, that's what I mean, like in replays. Like, I'm not against watching like afterwards. Like, oh, this, this. But I, I wouldn't pay for that fight. He lost to KSI. This man's out here going to fight Mayweather. Mayweather going to beat the bricks off of this dude. <laughs> Yo, he going to knock your socks off. <laughs> but. It is what it is. People would love to see Mayweather put hands and feet on this dude. Well, just but hands, I guess. That's not gonna happen. 
I think it's gonna happen. He's gonna knock him around a little bit. He's not gonna really hit him. No, I think he's really gonna hit him. I think he's gonna beat the. <laughs> oh no! Again, Mayweather's not stupid. The rigged part comes into making it last twelve rounds, or making it last eight, or nine. You want to know why? You want to know why? The longer it lasts, the more people and the the hyper it gets. The hype builds around it on Twitch. The more people come in. The more donations. The crazy part is while there's a purse and both of these dudes are millionaires. <laughs> Y'all donating. <laughs> this is nuts. But I can't I can't fault them for taking advantage of a culture that just doesn't make sense sometimes that is full of simps. I can't. I can't fault them. Whatever. Come fight them. Fight the good fight. Fight the good fight and fuck each other up. If this man lands one punch on Mayweather, I'm like, it's rigged. <laughs> that reminds me of when Mosley fought Mayweather. And there was one punch that Mosley landed that opened Mayweather's eye. And Mayweather was like, oh, so that's what it feels like to get hit. That was the, that's when he became Money Mayweather and started I just guess. dodging. <laughs> just bobbing and weaving. Hey, you, you, you can't hit me. Can't this face. <laughs> Shit is crazy. It is. 40-0-0. Zero zero. That's, a, that, that's, a, that's a pristine record. Yeah. That's Moving a bag. on. That's a bag, though. That's a bag. It's an easy bag, too. Moving on to something that we had called. Yeah, it feels kind of good. I ain't going to lie. I, I kind of want to talk my shit a little bit, but it feels a little You're good. You're going to talk your shit, but it's going to fall on deaf ears because nobody's listening yet. When people start <laughs> listening, you could talk your shit. How we, we called this. But we've, we've called a lot of things. That's how in tune we are to the game. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Oh, keep, we keep going. Tune, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my bad. <laughs> oh man, it's too funny. It is too funny, and also, this shit's disgusting. <laughs> you need to get better at hitting that drop. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> and so also you telegraph it, and also <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that I have to click it. I have to click like then three things should, before. Then you should go get it and ready, and then once you have it, again, say, I'm gonna redo all yo, the. I front gotta ones. teach you. That's why you're my son. I don't shine like one. <laughs> oh, you gonna lie to the public like that? <laughs> okay, and so if you don't know what we're talking about, we are talking about how Jamie Fox and Will versus movie catalogs or versus actor catalogs. Episode, Episode seven, seven. We thank basically you. spoke about this, and it got bought up, and it. Well, it's some just an, another example of something we foretold. I guess you could yes. say we had the foresight. We knew where the culture was going. <laughs> so this is dope this is dope for a lot of things now i don't believe that to be a great matchup because i don't i don't believe that to be a great Why? matchup because because uh, will has again there's differences will has a whole era of top of like number one movies blockbuster movies super blockbuster movies like you can't go up against Independence Day, Men in Black, like it's it's bad boys. bad boys, like it's all too it's in quick succession. It's it's too hard to beat. He did have like a whole spree. We were just going off. Yeah, his yeah, it was like back to back to back to back to back. Like everything he got on was. We a, love you, Will. We do love Will. Will Smith is a great. Why, inspiration why did I say it like that? I don't know because you're a weirdo. Nah, nah, pretend I'm normal. Nah, <laughs> nah, yo, Will. And Jamie is not the best, what's it called? Because out of all actors, I think Will's it's a, an outlier. I, wait, I think it's a matchup that makes sense. On paper. But I think everybody realizes that Will would win, so it wouldn't be an entertaining matchup. It's it's a bloodbath. Okay, no, I think you're going to, uh, no. Yo, you bath, can't. But. No, it's not. It's not being disrespectful to Jamie's catalog, because Jamie's catalog, I, I have... Uh, Yo, it's a bloodbath. Nobody in acting can go up against Will's top seven or eight from that era. It's not a good matchup because of it. Because as soon, like, what's Jamie going to play against? Like, besides Ray. Like, Ray's a definite point. Ray has to go against Ali. It has to go against Ali. You could put it up against. Oh, uh, okay, fine. We put a uh, we put Ray against Ali, even though he's also in Ali. Yeah. You can't. There's no way to. How do I say this? There's no way for him to go up against a pursuit of happiness. What What does he play up against? Pursuit of happiness. 
That that's a dub on Will's side. But you love it. Why are you whispering? <laughs> I'm trying to change the game. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> We're gonna talk into that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Bum ass. <laughs> you wouldn't get it. It's not even for you, it's for the ladies. For the ladies. Yeah, ain't no women <laughs> paying attention to your ass. <laughs> You you bitch. <laughs> That's funny. There's no no. There's no. That'd be the last time you told me about. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> there's no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think it's a good matchup, man. I really don't. I d- I don't think. There's not an actor that you can name that's. That goes up against that that level of consistency of in terms awesomeness. of awesomeness. Yeah, there's it's just it's not He's different. It's and not he, his he catalog. He still doesn't is, get the respect he deserves. Will's Will's catalog for acting is different. We're not we don't even got to bring up on Fresh Prince. Sitcom, movies, legendary sitcom, amazing movies, rap career. Come on. Yeah, he's Come on. Oh, YouTube star. YouTube, yeah, and add YouTube star to that. Yeah, YouTube superstar. Yo, like it's 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 not it's not close. It's not close. There's few actors, and I don't think like I'm. I'm literally like. Well, my dad went out for milk and never returned. Oh my god! If you need to adopt somebody, I'm here. <laughs> like I can't think of an actor. I can't think of an actor that uh, that could go up against Will. Can I you? mean, I'm pretty sure we could if we sat down. We're not gonna do it now. That would take too long, but. Because just the fact that it's not coming to us like this forces the point you're trying to make. All right, but here's the thing. I think he sits in a weird, very weird spot. I don't know why. A weird, very weird spot. A weird, very weird spot. Why? I think he's the only A plus that we have in a tier list. Let me explain. Remember how I t- how we tier things? It's A list, B list, S S class. Like things like why that. Why did you do it like that? You went from A to B to C to Okay, S. so it's S-A-B. it's S A B C. D, S being F. just God tier. S is unbeatable. S is Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is an S. And few people land in that in, in that S class. Very few. Meryl Streep is an S. There's very few people that a la- few people that land in there. Are you doing it because of because of what? Amount like are you are you doing quantity or quality? I'm doing. Are you doing both. accolades? Are you doing everything? S class you because, have to for have example, both. Daniel Day Lewis, we spoke about last episode, doesn't have the catalog, so can't land in an S class regardless of how big of oh, how many. See, but that's okay. Now you're making it different. You're putting him in S tier because in a versus battle, he, he doesn't. He he's doesn't. Unbeatable. He's unbeatable. But, no, but no, 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 no. Outside of a versus, inside of, outside. Okay, outside of a versus, he's S tier. He's S tier in terms of acting. His catalog not, is but, not conducive to a versus. Absolutely. But he has the accolades to show that he's an S tier. He has three Academy Awards for Best Actor. That is correct. No, no, no. Again, this isn't about acting prowess. This is sp- no, but this is a combination everything. of every uh, of everything. You have to have... Uh, to be in a versus battle, uh, yeah, Tom no, Hanks okay, has way too is. many... We're focusing on versus battle. Yeah. So S tier to, to Hanks. Got it. There's, it's just too much. You have every single Toy Story. You have Forrest Gump, Green Mile. So then you are doing, but that's what I'm saying. You are focusing a lot on quantity. It's both. There's a reason why he's in S class. So he are has you, both. So then where do you put too many hits? Where do you put Jackson? Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson also has. But, uh, but they don't again, hit the same. Maybe they, not all because he's been in too many movies. But he would also land in an S class. Like if you could pull out a black snake moan out of nowhere and it probably beats somebody other somebody's other performance. Like Black Snake Moan is not a movie that everybody knows. But if you look it up, that is a great performance on Samuel L. Jackson's behalf. You that can beat anybody else's like be like a, another movie that that beats Tom Cruise Vanilla Sky sometimes, depending on who you ask. Why'd you go to Vanilla Sky? I don't know, because we were talking about it last time, Anyways, too. come on. We're going too long with this. We're, we are going too long with this. But, like I said, there's levels to this. Will lands in an A+. 
not enough to be S class, but above A tier. Because A tier would be like Will Smith against a Leonardo DiCaprio, Will Smith against a Tom Cruise, Will Smith against like A tier A tier actors with with a good amount of catalog, with like a good amount of great movies. They would lose to Will. That's why I have him in a weird spot. He's not. He ha- he doesn't have enough movies, enough great movies to be an S class, but. He doesn't have, but he's too great. For his his era, his the time period is too great for him not to be above all his other eight a plus peers. I think if you put a cap on the amount you can use, I think a lot of people get to move up. I think tier. I think I, I think if we do ten, Will's getting everybody the fuck out of here. If we do fifteen, now we have another conversation. Hmm. If you do fifteen, Will has to use some of his other shit. And that's where the and, and that's where the competition gets a little tricky, because when you get rid of that eight of that original eight that he has, that that's almost an unbeatable eight. Now it starts. Okay, where are you pulling from? Are you going to give us a seven pounds? Are you going to give us a, a After Earth? <laughs> that that movie trash. <laughs> but I fucks with Jaden Smith. I fucks with his son. I, well, I fucks with the whole family. But yeah. That is a very interesting conversation to have. Cause, but again, well, I wouldn't put Will. It's not that interesting when you know that Will's going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, when no. You can the debate it, of actors is a very interesting oh, conversation. That, yeah, absolutely. Which brings, us to, which brings me to my next point. Jamie goes on to say, hey, I don't think Will and I are a good matchup. So Jamie's aware of the catalog. With a K. With a K. That Will Smith has. And guess who he names? Give it to him. Leonardo DiCaprio. See my whispering bag? Yo, your whispering bag is nasty, and I I don't even want to continue this. Leonardo DiCaprio is the person he names. So in light of Jamie actually going at, yeah, because he straight up won. He didn't go at. In the light of Jamie, Jamie Foxx mentioning Leonardo DiCaprio, me and Ace have decided... Let's do a little faux battle. You know, a little fake battle. Let's some, see. Some light work. Yeah. You know, something to entertain us. <laughs> some light work. Uh, something entertaining. You know, let's see how a battle between them would go. Oh, a simulation. There we go. Let's run the simulation. <laughs> you liked it. This is your bad go. I love this type of shit, yo. Anything where it where could get a little competitive is fun. So I'm representing Jamie. My guy over here is representing Leonardo DiCaprio. And let's go. We have a cool seven. And we're not going to take this. This isn't going to be the longest thing on earth. But Jarhead would be my number one. I'd do the the, um, the Departed versus that. I believe that the Departed wins against Jarhead. I think so, too. Just being honest. Remember, this is just... If if I think... I'm only going to argue when I think that something beats something else. I have Ali as my number two. I think I have to to do the Wolf on Wall Street of Wall Street. I believe Wolf of Wall Street beats Ali. I think it wins as a movie, but as a performance. But that that would be that would be the problem. That's, yeah, that, see, that's where it gets tricky. I think that it wins. I think yours wins it as a performance as well, because. No, you already know my theories about when you're taking the role of somebody who actually existed, but keep going. But they both, they're both they both roles of people who actually no, existed. I know, <laughs> yes, but whereas Jordan Belfort, whatever his name is, was basically a private... Con artist. <laughs> no, but a private person until they made this movie about him. Not everybody knew who he was. True. Whereas everybody knew who Ali was, even people that are young knew who Ali was, so they could kind of say... Yeah, he's he really is acting like Ali, or he's not acting like you know what I mean. Acting like his trainer, remember, because it's Will Will Smith is the. Jamie, remember, Jamie Foxx is the trainer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, that's totally, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I have Will Smith in my head. Oh, well, because we were talking about yeah, Will Smith yeah. earlier. I'm sorry. That, that's my don't bad. worry. That's that's, a, that's okay. I think Wolf of Wall Street beats Ali in t- in terms of performance for for uh, Jamie Foxx playing the trainer. 
And, and you see that you pulled that movie out, and I think that I pulled out way too big of a gun that I could have saved for later. You could have saved for later, yeah. but uh, do keep in mind Ali and his performance is still pretty strong. So, so actually, we should write this down. So far, you're okay. one. You're you're up two zip. So we've done two. Ace has one. And Ace has one. So that's two to. Alrighty. Zero. Next movie, mm-hmm. I have Just Mercy. Romeo and Juliet. Just Mercy beats Romeo and Juliet. Are you sure? Romeo and Juliet. Why'd you pull out Romeo and Juliet now? Because I don't think that's that big of a deal. Huh? I don't think that's that big of a deal. What, Just Mercy? No, Romeo and Juliet. It's not that big of a deal. It's that's... it's whatever. It's it's not ah, his best. Okay, yeah. It's not his best movie. So that's getting- a point for that's a point for Just Mercy. Just Mercy is great with Michael B. Jordan finally having some some words to say. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see. So, go. Dream Girls Oof. with the amazing Beyonce. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think Dream Girls beats Once Upon a no, Time in Hollywood. I don't. No I way. Think, I think Dream Absolutely Girls. Absolutely not. You're I think insane. Dream Girls. Nope. Absolutely Eddie Murphy. Not. No. Come Brad on. Brad Pitt, son. What are you talking Beyonce? about? Yeah, but it's not. Mm. You know what? Fine. A we'll draw. leave that one up in the air. We'll do a draw. I don't think that's I don't think even you really close. Do a draw on verses, but I don't think that's even close. You're crazy. Dream no. Girls is 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 no known. Once upon a time in Hollywood is mixed. Go. Yo, look it up. <laughs> look it up. <laughs> this fake ass battle. Go. Uh, you got collateral. It. Show me what you got. <laughs> Inception. You a real little <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, man. That's hard. And this is where it gets difficult. And Collateral's a great movie. This is where I it gets difficult. I love that movie. I want to see that. We're already down to only two movies. I want to see what you have. I want to see your last two. So, Baby Driver. Titanic. Oh, you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, you already know what my last one's going to be after that. Your last one's definitely going to be... Oh, no. No, no, I don't. I don't know what your last one's going to be. I have th- I have a, I have an automatic point in my next one. I have two that I haven't used. I actually have three big ones that I haven't used. No. Okay. Three known that I haven't used. Out of those three, two are big. If we go more, if we would have gone 10, it might have been a little bit closer. It might have been thing. It might have been, you know... I have an automatic point. You're not beating this, Ray. I'm not beating that. You're not beating. You're not beating I have Ray. the revenant, but I'm not. No, I'm not beating that. You have another. What was the other one? Because I think the other one would have fared better. Oh, the um, the other one was the Great Gatsby. I love the Great Gatsby, but yeah, the Great Gatsby. See, you could have pulled out the Great Gatsby against Just Mercy, and I think that would have been a little bit more interesting. No, I, th- I still, I still believe that Romeo Gatsby, and Juliet. Um, beats. I mean, you think Gatsby me. beats excuse Romeo me. and Juliet? No, no that, I mean, Gats- that Just Mercy beats uh, Gatsby. I don't. Think- I still think Just Mercy. Yeah, of course, but it's more interesting. Just Mercy versus Gatsby is more interesting than Just Mercy versus Romeo and Juliet. The thing is that Gatsby wasn't. I had it like as a because I had like a little pool of reserve that I just in case. And Leonardo has a lot of fucking. Yeah, he movies. does. But I, I just threw that one out there because I was like, you know what? This is actually part of. I, I was. You didn't even cheat. do Shutter Island. That that's the other. And that was the other one. The three I had left in the tuck were The Great Gatsby, The Revenant, and Shutter Island. And I had to pick between those three for my last place. If you would have gone, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a little, yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I don't think Jamie, like, raise a point, but if we tally it all up, and even if you gave me, if you gave me Dream Girls versus, uh, what was the one that you picked for Dream Girls? It was Dream Girls versus uh, Hollywood, uh, Once Upon a Time Once in Hollywood. Hollywood. Even if you gave me that point, that still leaves it three, four. That's funny because I, I don't even like that movie like that. But I thought Dream Girls was better. I like Dream Girls mainly because Beyonce is in all her glory in Dream Girls, and Eddie Murphy's in there, and Jamie Foxx is doing a great performance in there. It's just great. It's just a great movie. But I digress. Even Leo in is this, a hard man to beat. Leo and Jamie's great. Again, Jamie has Ray, Jamie has uh, like Oscars, Jamie has Grammys. Like Jamie's an an amazing Swiss Army knife. And it's it's but you see why I compare him to Will again? Once again, sitcom, movies, musician, just like Will. Yeah, just like Will. But there's catalogs and then Jamie there's Jamie can sing. Catalogs. 
with a K. Stop, stop freaking whispering. <laughs> <laughs> you sick man. But yeah, that would be the little faux battle that we did. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It is a hard Leo Leonardo DiCaprio is a hard. Also, a lot of people listening to probably be like, "No, I would have put this." I would have put this. Yes, we know. We know know that there's some movies that you guys would have put. Like, it's okay. Jamie Foxx has loads of movies. Somebody would have brought out uh, uh, nothing, not nothing but a game. Uh, It's the Al Pacino Jamie Foxx movie. I always forget the the name of. the name of it, they could have brought out that. They would have probably brought out due date. No, Django and Django, like but the, once again, we can't Django, pull Django. We can't pull we're Django because it's, an, uh, it's an automatic draw. Django would have been left. And even like, yeah, it gets a lot more interesting if you if you go 10. If you go 10 and still, you still had Great Gatsby in the tuck. Shutter Island. You had Shutter Island. You had um, What's Eating Gilbert Grapes. Aviator, and that's the other Aviator. one. Aviator's not necessarily like super like what a great movie, but it's it's one of his known. Catch movies. me if you can with Tom Hanks. Blood Diamond. Blood Blood Diamond. Like yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio is a heavy not, hitter. Not to be fucked with. I would like to thank you guys for tuning into the No Decaf podcast or the No Decaf conversation. It's been a wonderful Friday. <laughs> Make sure that if you guys, depending on where you guys are at, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the links down in the description below. Spotify, Google Cast, all where everywhere where podcasts are available except iTunes as of this moment and SoundCloud. We're eventually going to get to put those in the links as well. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram under the same name. No links are down in the decaf. description below. It's Ace. And this was Ivan. Peace and chicken grease, baby. Signing off.